Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Alan, and today we'll be talking about the recent growth or outgrowth of UFO sightings. A lot of this has been really brought forward by the different um, uh, released sightings by um, the U.S. military. The gimbal footage and the other two, the those three specific videos. They have really kind of reopened the door. We've talked before about how sightings have been around for a while. You could trace it back to the times of the ancient Greeks and Egyptians. There are uh, claimed sightings of things in the sky that go back oh, quite a ways. But, um, it, especially since the 1940s, post-World War II, Well, we'll say World War II and beyond. There's been an explosion of these sightings. <sighs> yeah. They go back quite a ways. Uh, one link I have pulled up here is a map of UFO reports by year, 1997 through 2015. And this is just like U.S.-based sightings. And it is so full of potential sightings and huge sightings we know of. But, yeah, um... It gives a list of some historical sightings, but also other sightings that we've had during this period. But you can see how the whole U.S. itself lights up at uh, with all these sightings. There is even a little bit over... Puerto Rico. <sighs> we'll wait for the page. It's being unresponsive right now as I'm scrolling up to take a look at um, sightings. Yeah, there they fill in. Sightings uh, in Alaska. Some of them get very dense with sightings. Because they even show density. Uh, by the colors. But it's a very interesting map. Uh, 
I just wish they would show more than just the U.S. though. Because goodness knows there are so many um, potential sightings. Anyway. But the three big ones are from 26... And 2019, 2016, I can't remember exactly when they were from, but they're fairly recent videos. Um, now, there's a lot of belief that with the pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic, a lot of people had time to be uh, looking, and we see according to military.com, an increase of 1,000 sightings in 2019 to 7,200 in 2020 in the U.S. So, yeah. Um, there's definitely been an uptick. And it's, it, it's, it poses a lot of questions. How much of them can you really give credit to? How much are just, you know, fevered minds or misidentifications? If we go to MUFON's, um, uh, website, MUFON, the uh, Mutual UFO Network, it has the most recent UFO sighting is an unknown submerged object damages the United States submarine, the USS Connecticut, on October the 9th of, the, of 2021. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. The incident happens um, oh, in the South China Sea. So... But yeah, they say it was a massive egg-shaped object that rose out of the sea as big as a football stadium and had rows of green and red lights around its equator. This was according to one of the sailors. Um... No one's seriously injured, but the injuries were moderate. So, yeah. There are still... Some crazy um, events happening, even right, you know, pretty close to right now, that they just don't get caught up in the news for any particular reason. But With the UF, uh, the uh, Pentagon coming out and acknowledging that yes, there are UFOs or as we call them UAPs that we do not know where they come from or the origins or anything. It's 
there is some um, renewed interest that should be looked at. Um, but, yeah. I would love to see more looked at into the UFO, a UAP, USO, all the different variations issue. So, but that will be it for this episode. As always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. Someone tries to tell you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll see you all in the next episode. I will have links in the description below the video. Until then, later. <laughs>